ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a brand new promotion on CletusMcFarlane.com. You know the deal. One of our favorite types of promotions is just throwing in one of our favorite toys in an order every single day. And we've got a freaking list of things from Horizon Hobbies right here, including my favorite RC plane right now as one of the listed items. And we're gonna be throwing one of these RC toys in one random order from cleesmcfrawlin.com every day until they're out. And we've got, what we got, 14 jacks in? Yeah, I was just counting, looks like 14 of them. 14, we got, you know, AC 130 all the way to 80 mile per hour infraction. And then what do we got here? <laughs> Crane A&S, big dog, fist scale basher. Yeah, and we've got all the premium batteries to go with it. Yeah. Come on. So the way this works is if you place an order today, could be a sticker all the way up to 20 t-shirts, doesn't matter. We pick one random order from today, starting today. And then tomorrow, we're gonna call that person and this will run for the next 14 days. So we got some new merch too, which is great. Check this out, new Freedom Factory t-shirt. Fire me up, dude. This is our 2024 Freedom Factory. Ooh. One of the most fire shots of the Freedom Factory. Clean. Look at the burnout mark. You know, the detail. Ooh. It's incredible, dude. Nice. Braden in Florida, United States of America. We got legalized burnouts, dude. Just a clean Cletus t-shirt right there. Jack Stan t-shirt, anti-wheelie wheelie club. Wheelies are cool, but you don't want to be doing wheelies, so we're the club <laughs> that does wheelies that's against the wheelies. We also reordered Ty, the McFarland Fab t-shirt. Late nights build legends, McFarland Fabrication, high grade, tie grade t-shirt, come on. We got the Jack Stand, James Tall, NOS, nitrous oxide service shirt back. Oh, this is a new one for the girls out there. Maddie brought back her support your car guy t-shirt, but with some brand new colors, and it looks freaking clean. New hat. Cletus hat back. Blue Cletus turbo hat, dude. I Great. like that. We got this Cletus hat for ponytails. That's pretty sweet. Jack Stan Jimmy Classic. McFarlane Fab high grade, tie grade. Buenos Dias by L.S. George. No bueno by <laughs> L.S. George. Then we got our Cletus socks. McFarlane racing socks. Bunch of stickers. Freedom Factory stickers. McFarlane racing 2024. Ooh, the sticker pack, dude. There's a secret item in here. Is sticker it? pack has a secret item. It does. And then last but not least, the 2024 Cletus calendar. All right, so like I said, we'll pick a random order every day and we'll be calling that person in the next video. Hop on CletusMcFarland.com, get you literally anything. Could be a sticker up to whatever you want. One random order every day. You know the deal, let's get to the video. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. What's going on here, Ty? So I'm down here getting all the oil and grease and dirt out of here from yeah. going through the trap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you broke your control arm, bud. Oh. Real bad. Oh, wow. All the way through. Damn. <laughs> so we need to get some of those coming. Damn. <laughs> All right. Well, she's been on there for a while. Yeah. I think they were a little bit bent from that wheelie a while ago, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Parts, you know? I'm glad we found that. Good I job, know. you know. Was... <laughs> Appreciate you looking for like, that. Man, I, got, I got some free time. We need to clean this <laughs> engine bay up. And That's I wild. That and I was like, holy cow. So as many of you know, I recently bent, I actually snapped the snout off the crank of my F-150. Oh no, dude. <laughs> what the heck was that? We got a strange noise. Holy Wait, what? crap. Wait. Like the water pump broke or the... Oh, you know what? I think... I wonder if it's hitting something. Maybe they... Yeah, it looks like the crank pulley came up and hit the water pump pulley. Yep, yeah, stop. stop. Oh, you're done. So, sent the engine back over to TKM. You can see a lot of damage here. We have chains all over the place, you know, not where they're supposed to be. You got damage up here in the head. This is expensive stuff right here. Let me tell you what. So... They went ahead and pulled it all the way apart. The bearings looked pretty good, you know, for the rods, but obviously those didn't matter much. Here's them getting the heads all repaired up, getting them dialed in, and uh, we got her back. Oh, wow. coyote, huh? A fresh coyote from TKM. Yeah, that's Rip, you snout. stay away from that thing. The snout is back. <laughs> so we ripped this off. Now it has a predator crank in it, courtesy of TKM, so. Should be much tougher. And we're doing a Mustang front cover. So, oh, is that the crank support? Ooh. Ooh. Let me see this. <laughs> I have to admit that this was here in the shop. What? Before we <laughs> broke, it? broke it. Really? 
So it you was have just... to like change the cover and stuff. I don't feel like dealing with that, but I really should have because it cost me a lot more. Well, how <laughs> yeah, now it's all Mustang front, right? Yeah, Mustang front cover. So we got to move the alternator and the AC condenser, but that's it. Hey, he's going to do it all. He's <laughs> no big deal. So this is a billet. Yeah, MFP out of Australia. It's yeah. all oh, billet nice. crank support. But just think if we ran all that, we wouldn't have known it was going to break for sure. If all your friends jump off the cliff, you can't. No, everyone says, it's gonna break. now <laughs> will break off your Coyote if you put a big supercharger on it. And I was like, I got to see for myself. You yeah. Know, I don't know if I can believe all these rumors. They were right. They were right, yeah. But now we know. Now we know. <laughs> just so. out there fact checking stuff. That's what know. we do, you know. We're MFP gonna... <laughs> Australia. Coming in clutch, brother. Now we can turn up the boost way higher. Yeah, he's ready for that. Got our new water. So <laughs> now we're going to leave Rip. He's going to get that installed. Yeah, get that. If get he that doesn't eat the of. foam peanuts first. Yeah, guessing that. Yep. I was <laughs> giving you one first. He Done. starts chucking bolts across the yeah. shop. <laughs> he's looking for James' toolbox. Yeah, where's my 10 the... meter at, dude? Okay. Now I see what they're talking about. That's beefy. It's got some strumph. Okay, <laughs> MFP Australia. That's the real deal right there. I don't think we're gonna snap that snout off. And it's actually really nice if you wanna swap belts. Yeah. So you gotta take it off. Just boom, 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 boom. Whole yeah, thing it just comes right off. off. That's really nice. easy. Whoa, come on, whoa. hit it with your purse, dude. Dude, come on, <laughs> there oh. it is. All right. Oh, this one. There she gonna, is. You missed five minutes of this. Back thing. from Whipple Superchargers. They went through our superchargers. Because we kind of had like the first one ever and we beat on it really hard, they checked it out. Had a couple things that were wearing a little weird. So they, they took it back and uh, they said she's good to go. Gave her a clean bill of health and sent her back. So Fresh now, change, you know. She's got oil change. Now she just put, needs a smaller pulley. Now we put the even smaller pulley on. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. Dude! Okay, bar my race car for one pass. Here it is, broken. What is happening? Back uh, in the barn she goes. Back to the barn it goes until next year. This is the strangest situation ever. We have never once in our career hurt the snout on an LS engine. Yes. Especially a turbo car. Uh, okay, yeah. We did hurt it on the Blazer. On the that's a big supercharger. Yeah. Big blower. Never on a turbo car. Guys, we freaking broke the snout off of the crank on Ruby's LS. That was in Leroy for so long. No yeah. issues. None. I mean, this is the 701 motor. Yeah. It went three 701 passes in Leroy. You know what it probably was? Was the... You know, the top fuel car just blew the snout off the crank when it went by. Clay came by, mocked yeah. Jeebus, and said, bang, there's your crank. Yeah, thanks a lot, Clay Milliken. You blew That's our right. snout off. We'll send him the pill. Send him the pill. The engine's out. This thing's yeah. got to go to Texas Speed and get fixed. Literally a perfectly good engine. No issues. And then I'm making that run, and uh, the pulley smacked the crank position sensor and apparently broke the snout. So I just, I don't I don't even know what to say. I don't know how yeah. this is possible. I the way it's broken, it's broken pretty far back. Yeah. So I think it might have just been like a casting fall with maybe that crank, a weak spot. That's just bizarre, though. Yeah. What in the Very world? Strange. It's an odd spot for it to break. Yeah. The only thing Especially on Leroy is it had... Down. It was only on an 850. Yeah. Down. Leroy had no alternator, so there's nothing pulling on the snout. Yeah. This has an alternator, obviously. Yeah. So Very I'm, strange. Very odd. Without taking <sighs> it fully apart, you'll never yeah. really know, but I'm sure the guys at Texas Speed, once they get it apart, they'll be like, hey, this is where it broke, and here's why. Yeah. Yeah, we need that answer, because if we have something going on with our torque tube, maybe, I have no idea, but we shall find out. Hopefully, the pistons and rods and all that are fine. Everything, it ran up until that point, it broke, so It actually still ran, and it just started backfiring, yeah, so I turned it off. A freshen up and a crank, a new crankshaft <laughs> balanced what we got in there. What's up with all these crankshafts breaking in here, dude? We've... It's like the last three months we've just been snapping crankshafts. Pretty soon we'll be firing up the F-150 as you guys already saw. It's got a crank support, so no it's crank good. Here. Hey, were you able to make these AC compressor lines fit? Ties welding oh. right now. So this one- Ties you know, welding you, you together. Split. I bent this oh. one up with heat. <laughs> you know, not, not a bend guy. Clean. But we made this one work, so he's just got to weld up one. Zach Fab. Wow, dude. This <laughs> is looking went. good, man. We're going to wrap up some AC lines. We got belts on this puppy. Brand new belt. Upgrades. New taillights. We also painted our inner fender well, so it's not just, you know, the opposite color of the truck. The and the interior, yep. which is looking 
fantastic Raptor R interior installed. Got the shifter in the middle now, no column shifter. And we have a Predator crank in our TKM engine. All right, well, Ty, I guess you wanna hit the key, bud? Sure. See if she fires. This is the most uneventful first startup truck ever. Remember the first time we got it done? Careful. Yeah, it just fires up and it's quiet. You can't say things like that. No, it's fine. It's gonna be great. We got a big giant exhaust leak right now. Yes, it does. Was it not have the exhaust on it? We got a nice V-band to put on it. This oh, is, this is so it's going to be loud. This is going to be like the nice done finish. Part. Oh, okay. All right, hit it. <laughs> Hold on. We need a jump box. We need a jump box. We have good compression now. It's got, it's got real compression <laughs> yeah. again. I'm just trying to brace myself for the really hideous first Coyote startup sound that it's yeah. going to make. 350Z startup. Yeah, it's gonna sound bad. We got fuel pressure. I like how this is looking. Oh, we got sparks out of this. We got a box. jump box on, we're good. Hit okay. it, Ty. Fire and hold. Okay. Any moment now? Come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was the longest tease of a fire up I've ever experienced. <laughs> All right, go again. There it is. Oh. No oil pressure? No oil pressure. Well. That's all internal, right? We couldn't have screwed that up, could we? No. Is there oil in it? Yeah, he just put yeah. 10 quarts in there. Okay. That dash takes forever to get going. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, I'll just make sure that the uh, oil pressure is plugged in. Make sure it's not a wiring dash in here. Now nah, that dash takes forever, I'm telling you. No, it's plugged in. Yeah, go ahead, Ty. That's not good. Why do we have no oil pressure? That's a good question. Oh boy. Yeah, so we just cracked open the filter guys and oil you know, came ripping out of it. So we're not sure if this is getting to the filter and it's not totally primed yet. It might have a little air pocket right by the sensor. I don't know, dude, stupid. I don't know. We're researching if the truck and the Mustang oil pressure sensor are the same, which we think they are. Right now the gauge shows 130 PSI. Yeah. I think the sensor's probably broke. The sensor's got to be bad. Metal. I mean, as a wiring guy, that usually sounds like grounding. Yeah, it does. Well, that makes me happy. All right, we're going old school. We're going to hook up an old manual gauge. Yeah, that's to the find easiest out. way. We don't know for sure. We don't want to run it. Sacrifice our brand new engine. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see this thing in yeah, here? She's, it's she's a lot of there to stay. There. there to stay. You want me to look and you just hide for a minute? Because I know this is... No, I, I need to see this, brother. <laughs> Come on, baby. Help. I think it's going to have oil pressure. I hope it has. I think it's going to have it. All right, you're good, Ty. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. Got a bunch of oil pressure. Oh. Yeah, that's because it thinks it has none. Yeah, it thinks it has none. <laughs> I went like this to Zach. I went like it didn't move. <laughs> and he was like, no. Was it reading like 60 cold? Oh no, it was a hundred. Okay, well the good news is is I figured out the two it's sensors. A like hundred, yeah, just under 120. Hey, it's a wiring. <laughs> just a little heart attack for you to finish up the job, you know? Aren't those good? Get your blood pumping. Make sure you're those are good for you, right? Yeah. Now the only question is, does the shifter unlock when you push the brake? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> well, guys, we went from having no oil pressure in the F-150 to having no oil pressure again to having oil pressure. So we're feeling good. That could have been a really expensive have to send the engine back situation. 
<laughs> really glad we avoided that. And we'll have the Whipple F-150 back up and running, hopefully tomorrow to do some testing and take down a Tesla minivan, ultimately is the goal. But uh, no, we still got some progress to get there. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale Wolfrickin. See you later.